Good evening, Gripers. Thank you all again for taking a listen to 25 Days, 25 Gripes, in which we make light of annoying-ass people and their annoying-ass habits. I'm your host, Mr. P, and today's subject is sneaker culture, and how our society gauges your worth as a person by how much money you spend on clothes, specifically shoes. Now, this is one of the longest standing gripes for me, because I remember even being in like 4th or 5th grade thinking that you're a fucking idiot if you spend way much more money than you have to on shoes and clothes and all that nonsense. But this doesn't extend to people who flaunt their status symbols through just clothes. It could be cars or money in general. But I feel like we see it occur most often with clothing, and obviously there's sneaker culture. And for those of you who are wondering how shoes are all of a sudden a culture, They are, and have been. There's culture around most trends, which is why I probably dislike most of them. Just the shitty, superficial attitudes just to try to be cool until the next stupid thing comes along in another three months. I used to work at a sneaker store, and you'd be surprised at the amount of fools that would come in at 8 in the morning with cash in their hand that was probably supposed to be used for rent or something, just to get the latest, KICKS BRO, GOTTA ADD THE KICKS TO MY COLLECTION! I'm not a collector myself, other than trivial things such as joint pain or general discontent. But why spend all this money on shoes just to maybe wear them once and then have them collect dust in your attic? I know I've complained on the show before about people showing off how much money they spend on things. But since everybody hopefully wears shoes, unless you walk around barefoot because you're deep... I bet you often see or have grown up with people wearing $500 shoes, which makes it relatable to most people, hopefully. And at risk of putting my armchair activist hat on for a second, why do they cost that much when they're only about $30 to produce, if that? They were probably assembled overseas by a 7-year-old named Milo in a sweatshop with military drums playing in the background. And they cost almost 20 times that because, why? LeBron James endorses them? I got news for you guys. Day by day, LeBron James is collecting his checks off of all of his basic sneakers that you guys buy. And then at night, he probably cries in the shower with a glass of red wine because he isn't Michael Jordan. If anything, I'd love to get the newest LeBrons and make sure they're white-colored so I can make a video of me stomping in the mud with them or in a rainstorm just to trigger some dumb shithead who's all about shoes like those. What are you doing, bro? Do you not appreciate the finesse and the culture? And they just start to fucking melt. I will lay down the idea or the challenge that if I and the three loyal people who listen to this podcast can conjure up enough money, because I'm not wasting my own money just to destroy LeBron's, I will absolutely make a PSA of me running in some shitty basketball shoes, just to destroy them, obviously, in the process. And for some reason, your fresh factor, I'm trademarking that, by the way, is determined by the newest clothes that just came out this week. Then the next week, some asshole will have the latest clothes until you have a bevy of unintelligent peckerheads out buying each other, and the only ones who really profit are the companies. All in the name of flossing on each other, bro. You gotta show everyone you deserve respect by your overpriced sneakers and stun on them. Trust me, I'd be much more impressed if you had a third grade education to go along with your James Hardens. It's like in sports, for example, when you see somebody sign for $35 million a year, only for the next guy to sign for 36 a year after that. And the ones laughing the hardest are the people getting paid generational wealth to throw a ball and catch it. And I love sports, I always have. But I'll always think professional athletes and entertainers get paid way too much. And you'll never catch me blowing money on the trendiest sportswear right when it comes out. However, as with any business that makes a lot of money, the highest performers within that organization get the highest percent of that profit. Not a hard concept. So while I do think Aaron Judge making now $40 million a year is obviously bullshit, the New York Yankees are worth $6 billion a year. And just to be clear, this is a separate argument from the greedy CEO conversation, just in case any Gen Z Tide Pod drinker with oversized glasses and an iced peppermint latte from Starbucks wants to incorrectly assume that Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are my boys. But I've at least shifted to understanding how some celebrities make a lot of money. And then there's some celebrities who already have a lot of money, so they're hailed as a god. Then they put out a clothing line for more money like a Kim Kardashian or Kanye West. 
By the way, imagine if those two ever got together and married and procreated. Don't even get me started, though, on the fucking Yeezys, too. The first basic thing that's wrong with this picture is anybody taking basic life advice from Kanye West. The second thing that's wrong with this is when that life advice becomes fashion advice. And you're paying $800 for numbers surrounded by swirling bullshit. By the way, I heard a couple weeks ago he dropped his new wave of sneakers, the anti-Semitic 12s. I know it got him a lot of publicity. How about you guys? Do you floss on other people with your material items? Do you think that Kanye is just a misunderstood genius so his reign of terror gets a pass? Would you watch me wear some shitty LeBrons and drag them through a pile of mud in hopes of pissing off a sneakerhead? Hope you guys enjoyed episode 15. Tomorrow's show, we're tackling people who loiter. And how easy it is to make an 8-hour retail shift more stressful on somebody else by standing around all day and not buying anything. Thank you guys again for listening, and as always, if you're liking what I'm spewing, please like and subscribe.